the global food industry faces a formidable challenge, post-harvest losses due to microbial contamination. These losses are particularly pronounced in perishable produce such as fruits, vegetables, grains, and nuts, which are highly susceptible to bacterial, fungal, and viral infestations. Traditionally, chemical treatments and refrigeration have served as the primary defense mechanisms against post-harvest pathogens. However, growing concerns over chemical residues, the development of antimicrobial resistance and environmental sustainability have spurred the search for innovative alternatives. In this context, cold plasma technology emerges as a promising solution, offering a non-thermal, environmentally friendly approach to pathogen control without compromising food quality. This documentary delves into the intricacies of cold plasma technology, its mechanisms, applications, and potential to revolutionize post-harvest food safety management. Cold plasma, also known as non-thermal plasma, refers to a partially ionized gas containing reactive species, including ions, electrons, radicals, and neutral atoms or molecules. Unlike thermal plasmas, where all particles are at the same high temperature, cold plasmas maintain energetic electrons, while the gas itself remains at room temperature. This characteristic makes cold plasma suitable for treating temperature-sensitive materials like fresh produce without causing thermal degradation. The generation of cold plasma typically involves the application of high-voltage electrical energy to gases such as air nitrogen oxygen or argon. This electrical discharge ionizes the gas molecules, creating a plasma state rich in reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species. These reactive species exhibit strong antimicrobial properties, disrupting microbial cell walls, damaging nucleic acids, and interfering with metabolic processes, ultimately leading to cell death. Different plasma generation methods have been developed for food applications, including dielectric barrier discharge, plasma jets, and gliding arc discharges. Each technique offers unique advantages in terms of scalability, penetration depth, and treatment uniformity, making cold plasma a versatile tool adaptable to various food matrices. The antimicrobial action of cold plasma relies on a multifaceted approach involving chemical, physical, and biological interactions. When cold plasma is applied to a contaminated surface, the reactive species generated during the ionization process initiate oxidative stress on microbial cells. This oxidative assault primarily targets the cell membrane, leading to lipid peroxidation and increased membrane permeability. In addition to membrane damage, cold plasma-induced reactive species interact with intracellular components, including proteins and nucleic acids. For instance, hydroxyl radicals and ozone can induce protein oxidation, denaturing essential enzymes and disrupting cellular metabolism. Meanwhile, reactive nitrogen species such as nitric oxide interfere with DNA replication and transcription, impeding microbial proliferation. Furthermore, cold plasma can induce physical disruptions, such as etching and surface roughening, that weaken microbial adhesion to produce surfaces. The combined effects of chemical degradation and physical damage render cold plasma highly effective against a broad spectrum of pathogens, including bacteria like Escherichia coli, Salmonella enterica, and Listeria monocytogenes, as well as fungal pathogens like Penicillium and Aspergillus species. The application of cold plasma technology for post-harvest pathogen control has garnered significant attention in recent years. For example, a study conducted by Misra et al. back in 2011 revealed that cold plasma treatment could achieve a 4-log reduction in E. coli on fresh lettuce without affecting its color or texture. Similarly, research by Namira in 2012 demonstrated that plasma-treated apples exhibited a substantial decrease in Listeria monocytogenes counts highlighting the technology's potential for enhancing food safety in fresh produce. In the case of grains and cereals, cold plasma has shown promise in controlling fungal contaminants responsible for mycotoxin production. 
A study by Selkuk et al. in 2008 reported a significant reduction in Aspergillus flavus and associated aflatoxin levels on maize kernels following plasma exposure. This finding holds particular importance for global food security, as mycotoxins pose serious health risks and contribute to substantial post-harvest losses in staple crops. Cold plasma technology offers several advantages over traditional pathogen control methods, making it an attractive alternative for the food industry. One of the most significant benefits is its non-thermal nature, allowing for the treatment of heat-sensitive products without altering their nutritional composition or sensory attributes. Unlike chemical disinfectants, cold plasma leaves no toxic residues, aligning with consumer preferences for natural and minimally processed foods. Another notable advantage lies in its broad-spectrum antimicrobial activity. Cold plasma can effectively inactivate bacteria, fungi, and viruses, reducing the need for multiple treatments targeting specific pathogens. Additionally, the rapid action of reactive species enables shorter treatment times compared to conventional methods, improving process efficiency, and reducing energy consumption. Environmental sustainability is another key factor driving the adoption of cold plasma technology. Since plasma treatment relies primarily on electrical energy and ambient gases, it minimizes the use of water and harmful chemicals, reducing the environmental footprint of post-harvest processing operations. Despite its numerous advantages, cold plasma technology faces several challenges that must be addressed before widespread commercialization. One of the primary concerns is the scalability of plasma systems for industrial applications. While laboratory-scale studies have demonstrated promising results, translating these findings into large-scale operations requires the development of cost-effective and energy-efficient plasma generation systems. Another limitation involves the penetration depth of reactive species. Cold plasma primarily acts on the surface of treated materials, limiting its effectiveness against pathogens located in subsurface layers or within complex food matrices. This constraint necessitates the integration of complementary technologies such as ultrasound or vacuum-assisted treatments to enhance plasma penetration and improve overall efficacy. The potential impact of plasma-induced oxidative stress on food quality also warrants consideration. While most studies report minimal effects on nutritional and sensory attributes, prolonged exposure or high-intensity treatments could lead to undesirable changes, including color degradation, texture alterations, or off flavors. Thus, optimizing treatment parameters to balance microbial inactivation and quality preservation remains a critical area of research. Several case studies have highlighted the successful application of cold plasma technology in real-world post-harvest scenarios. In one notable example, researchers from the University of Minnesota conducted field trials on strawberries, a highly perishable fruit prone to fungal contamination. The results demonstrated that cold plasma treatment extended the shelf life of strawberries by up to 50%, significantly reducing spoilage rates and preserving visual appeal. In another study, plasma treatment of packaged fresh-cut vegetables including spinach and carrots was found to reduce bacterial contamination by more than 99% without altering the color or crispness of the vegetables. This application is particularly relevant for the ready-to-eat food sector, where microbial safety is of utmost importance. Cold plasma has also been explored for controlling post-harvest diseases in citrus fruits, such as green mold caused by Penicillium digitatum. Researchers observed a notable reduction in disease incidence following plasma treatment, coupled with improved firmness and delayed ripening, which contributed to prolonged storage stability. The adoption of cold plasma technology in the food industry necessitates careful consideration of regulatory frameworks and safety standards. Regulatory agencies such as the United States Food and Drug Administration 
and the European Food Safety Authority have begun evaluating the safety and efficacy of plasma-treated foods. While initial assessments suggest that cold plasma poses minimal health risks, further research is needed to establish comprehensive safety guidelines and ensure consumer confidence. Occupational safety is another critical aspect as plasma generation involves high-voltage electrical systems and the production of reactive species that could pose hazards to workers. Implementing appropriate safety protocols including shielding, ventilation, and monitoring systems is essential to mitigate potential risks associated with plasma operation. The future of cold plasma technology and post-harvest pathogen control looks promising driven by ongoing research and technological advancements. One emerging area of interest involves the combination of cold plasma with other non-thermal technologies such as ultraviolet light or pulsed electric fields to enhance antimicrobial efficacy through synergistic effects. Researchers are also exploring the use of plasma-activated water or PAW as an alternative delivery system for reactive species. PAW can be applied as a spray or dip treatment, offering greater flexibility in processing and enabling broader coverage of complex food surfaces. Advancements in plasma system design, including modular and portable units, are expected to facilitate the integration of cold plasma into existing post-harvest processing lines. Additionally, the development of real-time monitoring tools for plasma treatment efficacy and food quality assessment will enable more precise control over processing conditions, ensuring consistent results. From an economic standpoint, the widespread adoption of cold plasma technology could yield significant benefits for the global food industry. By reducing post-harvest losses and extending the shelf life of perishable products, Cold plasma can help stabilize supply chains, reduce food waste, and increase profitability for producers and retailers. The growing consumer demand for chemical-free and minimally processed foods further strengthens the market potential of cold plasma technology. Market analyses predict robust growth in the global cold plasma market, with applications extending beyond food safety to include packaging sterilization, water treatment, and medical device decontamination. Investments in research and development, coupled with supportive regulatory frameworks, will be pivotal in accelerating the commercialization and mainstream adoption of this transformative technology. Cold plasma technology represents a groundbreaking advancement in the fight against post-harvest pathogens, offering a non-thermal, eco-friendly solution that aligns with modern food safety and sustainability goals. Its ability to inactivate a wide range of microbial contaminants while preserving food quality makes it a promising alternative to conventional treatments. However, challenges related to scalability, penetration depth, and regulatory compliance must be addressed to unlock its full potential. With ongoing research and technological innovation, cold plasma is set to revolutionize post-harvest pathogen control, paving the way for safer, longer-lasting and environmentally sustainable food systems worldwide.